Hi, and welcome to my c -Shop Web Driver video series. In this video, we will be talking about how to take screenshots using WebDriver in c -Shop. So we're going to jump straight into it and we're going to navigate to our Java test site. So what is taking a screenshot? Well, first of all, it should be quite simple to understand, but on the off chance, if you don't know what taking a screenshot is, taking a screenshot is basically when you take an image representation of something. So in this case, let's just say we want to take a screenshot of this web page. What we mean is we want to basically create an image file which contains a copy of this web page. Uh, taking a screenshot isn't only isolated to web pages, you can take a screenshot of various things. Desktops is an example. So our test isn't going to be too heavy. All we're going to do is navigate to our test site, click on the contact link, uh, maybe do an assertion to make sure we're on the right page, and then just take a screenshot of this web page, and that's it. Now some of you might ask why take a screenshot what is the point in taking a screenshot sometimes when you're running your test and let's just say your test fail you want to know what was the last thing webdriver tried to represent as a web page before it failed so you could in that case try and take a screenshot just before your test failed sometimes you might want to write a take screenshot method for instance as some kind of utility method for your web driver classes so that you have the ability to take a screenshot for one reason or another taking a screenshot is not something that is key to letting your test run but it can be used as some means of doing some level of debugging if you like from a visual representation i'm compelled to add that when you run a test, there should really be no manual intervention. Manually, you shouldn't have to go and look at something to confirm whether something has passed or not. So taking a screenshot is almost against the concept of writing and running test. But like I said, taking a screenshot is just a utility method that you can use if you need to use it. So how do we write a method to take screenshots? Well, first of all, let's write a quick test to automate this scenario. So here I've got a really basic test class, doesn't really do much at the moment. All we have is a setup method to start the driver and navigate to our test site and then to close it. So the first thing we're going to do is just write a test method to actually go ahead and run the test. So I'm just going to say test and I'm going to say public void check contact page title and I'm going to say driver find element by and let's have a look so if I right click on the contact link and inspect it it has an ID attribute with a value of contact underscore link so I'm just going to use that And I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then assuming that's fine what I want to do is a set on the page title so the page title in this instance is in the page tab and it's called contact so I'm just going to write a basic assert method just to assert that the page title in this case contains contact And that's it. So let's quickly save this and build this. And let's fire up in unit IDE. So it's picked up our test and let's run it. Okay, so this now proves that our test in an isolated condition works in that it's able to open up a driver on Firefox 
navigate to the contact page, check to see that the tab contains contact and then close it. So, so far so good. Now what we want to do is basically write a method that will allow us to take a screenshot. So how do we write this? So let's go ahead and write the skeleton method for it. So we're going to say public because we want it to be a public method. Uh, void doesn't need to read anything. And in this case, let's just say take a screenshot. Because we want to be able to reuse this method, let's pass in something like a string and give it a value of file name. What we can do here is we can pass in say names and what this would allow us to do is name the screenshot file. So let's just say we're on this contact page we can pass in a name something like contact page screenshot. Say we then navigate to a different page and for, for one reason or another we want to take another screenshot we can just pass in a different name and that would then create a different file. So now the question is, how do we take a screenshot? What do we have at our disposal to take screenshots? Now, luckily, WebDriver provides us with a class called I take screenshot, which basically allows us to use the driver to take a screenshot. What that means is when we have a browser open, effectively what is driving that is our WebDriver instance. So we can use that instance to basically take a screenshot of that page. So we're going to go ahead and use that class. So it's I takes and let's call this screenshot handler. And what we're going to do is we're going to say this is equal to the driver as the I takes screenshot. So what we're doing here is basically saying we want the driver to now act as an I take screenshot and we want to save that as a reference in this variable here. So this will now allow us to effectively use the driver to take a screenshot for us. So that's well and good. We can now take screenshots, but what we now need to do is actually be able to save the screenshot somewhere in some format. So the next thing we need is to use another class called screenshot. This will effectively contain a reference to the screenshot that we take. So in this instance, we can call this screenshot. And now it is here where we can invoke this driver to help us take the screenshot. So we can say, screenshot handler dot get screenshot so what's happening here well what is actually happening is we know we can use the driver to get a screenshot but when we get the screenshot we actually need to save it somewhere and it is this screenshot class which allows us or rather gives us the ability to basically save references to that screenshot so what we're effectively doing here is saying use the driver and in this case the screenshot handler is a proxy to the driver instance and then just get a screenshot and once you've done this save it in this screenshot object so now that we've done this what this means is we now have an instance to our screenshot we've actually got a copy of it the final thing we need to do is actually save that screenshot somewhere locally in our directories. And the way to do that is we can use this screenshot object. And we can say save as file. And what this method does is it allows us to save the screenshot as a file somewhere in our directory. So this save as file method takes in two parameters. The first is a file name. So what you want to call the screenshot. And the second is the format that you want to save the image in. So in this case, we already have a name that we want to give it, i.e. file name. So we can just say file name. And I'm also going to define the extension that I want as part of an appended string. So I'm just going to say plus 
uh, I'm going to go with PNG. The next thing I need is an image format as indicated by this class hierarchy here. So I'm just going to say image format uh, and let's go with oops. PNG. Now obviously uh, it's underlining here saying image format doesn't exist. That's because I haven't indicated that I want to use that particular namespace. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it. So I'm just going to say using uh, system dot uh, drawing dot imaging. And what that should do now is that should now allow me to use this image format.png just as a prerequisite some of you might encounter image format still not being recognized after you start using that namespace in that case what you need to do is just right click on your project go to add references and in here what you need to do is select framework and once you select framework, you should get a list of available assemblies available to you. And then just tick system.drawing and hit the OK button. This then basically adds that as a reference to your project, which then allows you to use these other classes. So now that we have this method ready, what we need to do is basically use it. So we're just going to say in our test method, we're going to say take screenshot and let's punch in a value so in this case i'm just going to say contact test page and that's it so let's save this with the project and run it Okay, so no issues. So the question is, now that we've apparently taken a screenshot, where is the screenshot saved? Well, the screenshot is actually saved under your debug folder in your project. So if you go to your project, and then go to bin and then debug. Any images you create as part of this method are basically saved here. Obviously, you have control over where this image gets saved. Once you know where the root directory is, from there, you can go up directories and down directories by using some simple directory commands. So finally, let's actually have a look at our screenshot just to make sure we actually did take a screenshot of our contact page. So let's open that. And it looks like we did actually end up taking a screenshot. So this was a really basic video on how to take screenshots and it was a relatively quick one as well. The idea here is to just basically show you how to get WebDriver to help us take screenshots so that we are able to see what happens or rather see what the page looked like just before it closed and that's it for this video folks thanks for watching hi guys i really appreciate you watching my videos and if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you already haven't hit the subscribe button below also follow me on twitter facebook and google links in the description below until next time ciao